Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming with my Let's Play of Battletech. So humanity has expanded to the stars and then fought the wars against itself. Civil wars. Alright, let us begin. A new campaign. There's quite a lot to cover here and it's apparently a pretty long game, at least based on what I've heard. In effect, humanity discovered FTL travel and then expanded to the stars and then a galactic government, well, not really galactic, but still a, a stellar government was formed, which then lost civil war, uh, which then lost in a rebellion against it. And then you had the collapse of that central government from Earth. Following that, well, the Star League was created, which then dissolved I because... am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's uh, up to you. Yeah, anyway, we begin. Battle tank, restoration. So. I have to create my character. Welcome to the Regan Reach. The Regan Reach is a small kingdom in the Rimward periphery, a region of space that lies at the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Regan Coalition, a federation organized around the parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Rano family. 
For three generations under the rule of House Serrano, the Regan coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here that your story begins. I can go for multiple um, um, multiple uh, beginnings here, but I'm gonna go with the deep periphery. Why? Because mech warriors that hail from the deep periphery are rare, but even rarer is the mech warrior that will admit to such an origin. Beyond the outermost edges of the periphery lie the depths of space that remain uncharted and unknown to most human civilization. A little is known about these regions, but they are far from uninhabited. The deep periphery is is littered with abandoned colonies and small outposts, isolated from the rest of humanity. After the fall of the Star League, General Alexander Kerensky led the remnants of the Star League Defense Force into the deep periphery, disappearing from the inner sphere and from recorded history. And I think that's interesting. So the Star League collapsed, the uh, ruling monarch of the Star League was murdered, there was a civil war over that, and there was no one to take over. Kerensky wanted to preserve the ideals of the Star League, so he took about 80% of the military with him into the deep periphery, which led to destructive wars that, you know, by that point it was clear that it was gonna, a war was gonna happen. He might have been in position, by the way, to do something about that, but uh, he decided to just run away, more or less. Anyway, let's go. You are of noble birth. For immigrants to the Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You are the oldest child, heir to the family's titles and ancestral battle mech, an old blackjack BJ-1. This is where you met Raju Mastfit Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. And then, well, there are multiple options, but then I guess I... I'll go with struck out on my own. I mean, this is just basically uh, based on stats, so you get uh, tactics, gunnery, piloting, guts. Guts is HP, by the way. But obviously you can get more stats uh, the more you play the game. I'm gonna go with Struck Out on your own. As heir to a noble family, you grew up n wanting for nothing. And as it turns out, you couldn't stand a life of pampered nobility. Finally, one night you stole away with the family's ancestral blackjack and set off to find a new life to call your own. You can go Pirates, Solaris Gladiator, an Inner Sphere Mercenary, a Frontier Freelancer, or a Merchant Guard. I'm gonna go with a Regan Coalition Soldier. Unsure of your prospects, you travel to Corum, uh, Corum Deer, the capital of the Regan Coalition, and enlisted in the Coalition's military. You quickly rose through the ranks, distinguishing yourself as a reliable mech warrior. Life as a soldier wasn't glamorous, but it suited you just fine. Until the years later, you cross paths with Raju Mastuit Montgomery once again. On an ill-fated mission, you were caught behind enemy lines and separated from your uh, lance. Raju happened to be on a patrol nearby and he launched a daring rescue. Upon finding out it was you he had rescued, he brought you into the house Arano Royal Guard. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Camilla Arano. Okay. Now this is fucking hilarious, so people are gonna love this. Oh, actually, the Social Justice Brigade, the Anti-Social Justice Brigade, they're tearing each other to shreds over this. Day. Ooh, okay. I'm not even gonna discuss this. Uh, I really can't say I give a shit, ultimately, at the end of the day. And I think I've had enough discussions on stupid uh, policies like this. All right, so I am gonna go with Mad Dog James Mattis, because why not? He's secret U.S. Secretary of Defense, and he's pretty much a badass. What keeps you up at night? Nothing. I keep other people awake at night, and he says that with a straight face. Holy shit! But <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he's not kidding. Uh, though to be fair, I think he hates. Uh, if I recall, he hates the nickname Mad Dog. Uh, his actual call sign, and when he served in the military, was Chaos. He's also known as the Warrior Monk. Anyway, I am going to customize my character's face. Uh, remove the hmm, facial hair. Uh, yeah, okay. That's actually a bad face. Maybe this one will do. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Mm-hmm. Such great hairstyles, really. All right. I'll go with that, why not? And that should be about it. Uh, actually... Yeah. All right. Mad Dog James Mattis. <laughs> Let us begin. Right, gunnery free, piloting free, tactics free, and guts too. I don't think HP matters as much early on. Interestingly enough, uh, there's something I do want to disable here. Maybe I should increase the. Uh... All right. Yep. Um, but as you can see, some of my uh, settings were uh, pretty messed up. All right. Cut. Okay. Use dynamic attack camera, auto center, sprint follow cam. I don't care about that. Normal mode, follow cam, move follow cam. Uh, let me just check. All right, let's begin then. The High Lord Tamati Arano II is dead. The Regan Reach is left to a, at an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript their house guard and centralize power under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Camilla Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement pleas to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Masfit Montgomery, makes preparation to escort her safely to the coronation process that awaits in Cordia City. And of course, the uncle is going to betray her and try and kill her. And we're also going to find out that he was responsible for her father's death. Or who knows, maybe this game will surprise me and actually not do everything that I just described right there. What are the chances of that? I don't know. Anyway, let us get started. Preparing for combat. This first mission is buggy, or rather the game is buggy in the sense that it might just put you in a situation where you can't continue after this. I've had to reinstall the game several times in order to get this fixed. And I think the problem is with the GOG version and it's cloud syncing bollocks. So once you install this game, 
remove GOG Galaxy because fuck that program. It's I mean GOG is perfectly fine, but GOG Galaxy can go go to hell. Raju Mansfield Montgomery. Okay, Mad Dog. I had the Spinoza Rafit Yards run rush repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece. But we should run some diagnostics on it, just to be sure. Standard field test, you know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you more about the job I, uh, I brought you here to do. Now do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there's any kinks in the actuators. Alright. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. Oh, is that so? I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since I and Lord Tamati's funeral. And I'm worried about Lady Camilla's safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, it looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of their those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Okay. Unfortunately, this game is in Unity. Good shot, your guns are in working order at least. And Unity just has a lot of problems. Alright, I've been training Lady Orano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll j be a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easier when she's in the capital, with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria, well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving for the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me, and then when it turns, take it out with a rear single shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Camille's like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. Alright, we fire the lasers and the guns. You can choose to not fire all of your weapons at the same time. That this is certainly Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in the fight. Okay. Vehicle destroyed. Alright. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by Alohai Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamiya belongs on the current. Uh, yeah, coronet. Uh, Cormorant throne. Okay. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that uh, patch of ground there. Near the edge of the lake. All right. Activate the jump jet. And let's go. Heat critical structure yeah, damage. That. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. All right. Warning: plas uh, plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet. Systems and damage. System inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what I get on insisting, uh, for insisting on rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. This, the Espinosa refit the yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were tr uh, trying to process every single royal card making time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get our jets replaced, so we're gonna have to make do without them. Go ahead and take uh, that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is gonna break down on your blackjack before we take it out on the Cormorant road. Alright. Let's do it. Attack. Right! That's how we take them on immediately. Good! At least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sp uh, sprint and evade my attack. That engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. All right, we sprint. Right, mad dog. Let's see, can you dodge? Yep. 
Evasion. Minus one. Congratulations, Mad Dog. Your blackjack is combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope that my suspicion turns out to be unfounded. And we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. Alright, it's time to move out. Look, Adiorano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Now, okay, when I turn, that's the mission. Mad Dog, allow me to introduce Camille Arano, the soon to be High Lady of the Regan Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on the channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton Docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to pre uh, preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father, and don't be l late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity you pilot. Bold words, cousin. But the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for that family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney ground. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland, along the Cormorant Road, as is the Arano tradition. I, Camilla. We'll get you there in one piece. Mad Dog, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Yeah, be a paranoid shit, I guess. So, that is the beginning. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Yep, as I expected would happen. There's something about this game that makes me like it, that makes me interested. I mean, it's a game set in a very rich universe made by people that apparently know what the hell they're doing. Or even if it's made in a horrible engine. Cordia City Outskirts, 1.22 local time. So, the die is cast. Let the war begin. I believe... You know, just... Searching for a fix for the problem I had, which is that cinematic wasn't triggering. I was getting a space shuttle for some reason. Which I think you'll eventually get yourself, but... Based on that, I ran into people... Uh, more or less saying, three years later. And that came up quite a bit. So I'm guessing you'll fail or succeed, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Command interface 
initiated. I'm going to miss this Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But here... But there they are, just up ahead, the city gates and my future, all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? Car post, one of the small ones that dots the road leading into capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. Damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Uh okay, I can save. Right! That is the beginning. I know, a bunch of cinematics, but important ones at that in character creation. Cosine, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the